don't know if you remember, but a game called Parasite Eve on the original PlayStation, made by Squaresoft. And basically, I was way, way, way too young to be playing this game. And the intro movie alone caused me to crap my pants, okay? It was like people bleeding stuff out of their eyes, melting all over the floor. And then later on, you meet a two-headed dog with a giant vagina mouth thing in the middle that's got teeth and is going to chomp your face off and you know that's that's the scariest thing in the world to me i don't do scary i don't play scary games and there's reason because they scare the ever-loving out of me uh starting with resident evil really on the playstation and i went to a friend's house and played it a little bit in the fixed camera angles just i was like i need to i need to see what's over there and i i don't want to just walk through that doorway. I don't just go around that corner, the camera, my face, and there's gonna be a dog jumping through the window. You can give me like a thousand dogs jumping through a thousand windows, and that's nothing, but Counter-Strike, the original on the PC, is the most terrifying experience I I I've ever played. My scariest moment in gaming was when I played Counter-Strike Source for the first time, and I realized that all the other shooters I had played up until that point did me no good, and I was sh and I had to learn from scratch. But I hate losing. I hate losing to other human players. To say there's a giant monster coming out of a sewer or something, that's fine. That's not a player character. Like, I'll kill that. The fear is in, in being outsmarted by them. That's where the like, globules of sweat would like form on my brow every time this happened. My scariest moment is uh, in the first Bioshock, the first splicer encounter you have, when you're kind of in the bathosphere, you've just arrived in this weird utopia that you, well, I suppose a utopia you didn't know existed, and then a spider splicer is just trying to cut in to the ceiling above you, and it's, it still gets me now. I've played through Bioshock like four times, but just that one particular spider splicer in that one particular moment just absolutely shits me up. So my scariest moment in gaming is happened when I was playing Silent Hill 3. So you're playing the protagonist, Heather, and when she walks into this room, there's like a giant mirror on one side of the wall. And you kind of, you just look at it and you're like, oh, there's a mirror, like, it's a portal to the other side in Silent Hill 3. But then as you're looking, you kind of see like a shadow start to form in the corner of your eye. And it's kind of one of those things like, you see it in the corner of your eye, but you kind of dismiss it because you're like, oh, it can't be anything that bad. But then it starts turning into something else and then the shadows start to build up and then they turn into like these creepy, like crawly snake things. And then they start to actually overwhelm like the room. And then Heather starts to like, get covered in blood, like blood just starts dripping and then the walls start like changing, the whole scene just starts turning into like the other world in Silent Hill. And then you try to get out the door but the door's locked and you can't and you're like, what the hell's going on? Why is everything changing? And then, and then like the, the reflection, because all this time you've been running around and your reflection follows you in the mirror, all of a sudden the reflection of Heather stops and she just stares at you and she's covered in blood and she gets increasingly creepier and creepier and it's just absolutely horrifying. And if you don't get out of the room in time, you actually die, and it's game over. <laughs> so it's probably Quake would be the scariest, because I played it when it was too, I was too young. It was, I would go around my friend's house, and her dad had a copy. And I don't even really remember what happens in the game, apart from we turned all the lights off, and I was terrified. It was just monsters coming at your face, making horrible noises. You could hear them kind of off camera. And it also was in a room that overlooked their garden and we somehow convinced ourselves that all the monsters lived in her garden shed. So I'm also deathly afraid of gardening. I'd have to say my scariest moment in gaming comes from amnesia, naturally. Um, but it's not the water monster stuff, I mean that was really bad, but after that you get to the prison. And everything up till then is scary but it's dealable and there are these dark long corridors at one point, the game t literally tells you to hide. It's like, you need to get somewhere. You need to get somewhere right now. Text comes up on screen, which so rarely happens in Amnesia. And there are all these scripted events where you just have to get out. And if you don't do exactly the right thing, you're totally boned. It's terrifying. I had to stop playing. <laughs> also, I played Amnesia once, and I almost put my pants. Don't put that in. <laughs>